Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. You guys already knew I was going to do this gameplay. Michael Vick, we have Demarcus Ware, and we have Brian Finneran. I do want to give a shout out to Austin Steven for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Well, as you guys can see right here, we do have the new legends. Michael Vick on the team. 89 speed, 92 throw power. I have that from strategy cards from Rookie Premier and Madden 23. You can't get any more. 85, 85, and 85 with 90 throw under pressure. Has Slinger 1 release and then he has 90 juke move 88 break tackle 87 change direction guys he's gonna be good now we are running omaha on him and as i said gunslinger for 2 ap however he does also get jukebox if you want to run that on him you can personally with my offense i don't have the ap to fit in 4 ap on one player that is crazy those are his team camps. And offensively, we also have Brian Finneran, who is 6'5", 86 speed, good route running, solid hands, absolutely catch, actually better than I thought he would be. And then we're running double me on him. His abilities, you know, mid in, mid out, outside apprentice, slot apprentice is probably what I would run on him, but... I already have two other players on my team that I would rather play out of the slot than Brian Finneran. So he's on the outside. We're going to be trying to chuck it deep. Does also get short out, but 3 AP. And then, guys, we also have Demarcus Ware. 86 speed, 89 excel, 89 block shed, 90 finesse move, and he does also have 90 hit power. Guys, he is the only player in the game to get edge threat. Now, it's 3 AP, which is a lot, but there are no secure protectors. There's no, you know, edge protectors out there. I gotta run it. I gotta run it for 3 AP. We gotta see how it is. Unpredictable. Uh, get some other stuff as well. And then, of course, uh, here are his team chems and his secondary positions. Let's get into this. The NFL season is back, and now is the perfect time to check out Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the best place to play fantasy football, and my favorite thing to do on the app are the pick'ems. Now, the NFL pick'em feature is really simple. All you guys do is go through and select two to five of your favorite NFL players or other sports, and you guys can win up to 20 times your money in one single game. And you can also use the insurance feature, which means if you guys lose on one of your picks, you still end up winning. Now, the NFL is not the only thing that Underdog has, though. They also have NBA when that comes around, MLB, college football, MMA, and so much more. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy before Sunday Night Football Week 1, you will get this Saquon Barkley .5 total yard special right now if you guys sign up using code ZERK, which will also double your first deposit up to $100. Now, if you guys are watching this video after Sunday Night Football, don't worry. You are still going to get a special right now. If you guys sign up using code Zerk, you will get a random special. So check out Underdog Fantasy and use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. So let's get into this. As you guys can see, that is my top three right there. Vic Cromarty and Joey Porter. Definitely had to mix around, you know, my offensive abilities and my defense abilities for this game. More so defense because three AP on d -Ware is a ton but I know you guys want to see that edge threat. So we've got Michael Vick, and I'm definitely going to try, you know, to run some read options, try to scramble with him, see what we can do as very first play. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this with Vick. We're going to hit the outside here. We're going to slide down. Let's not get too crazy. But I definitely want to try to take off with Vick, you know, quite a bit in this gameplay. So we'll see what we can do. Here, I think we're probably going to have Bo. Yep, Bo Jackson real quick in the flats there. Try to break a tackle. Okay, and third down and three coming up here. Let's see if we can pick up this first down. We do have Shannon Sharp wide open. Let's go. A wide open Shannon Sharp right there as here we get a nice block and nothing's really going to be open. Got to throw it away. One thing that is kind of different if you're going to be using Michael Vick, and this is, I will say, one reason why I don't really necessarily... Uh, always use Michael Vick is he's left-handed so a lot of plays like that where you're rolling out to the right it's just not gonna work as well with Vick because obviously he's left-handed as I gotta take that shot Shannon Sharp can't come down with it all right so fourth and ten coming up we've got to be able to pick up this first down I know I haven't thrown to Brian Finneran just yet but if he's open we will get him the ball as right here wait a second 
man. I'm pretty sure we were about to have somebody open right there. Unfortunately so though, first drive did not go how I wanted it. By the way, uh, this is a Mutt Champs game right here. I'm currently 9-0, so I'd like to keep that streak going. Second down and six, though. Let's see if this guy's going to continue to run the football as Warren Sapp plugging that gap. So is he just going to run the football, or what exactly is going on here? Third and six coming up, and looks like a play action. Let's see if we can get some pass rush going here as... No way did he just come down with that. All right, well, I feel like that's uh, a little bit crazy that he had that much time in the pocket to be able to get that there, but good tackle. Second down and nine coming up. Have to expect here that he's going to throw, of course, as I'm going to look out over the middle. I'm going to send D Ware, and I got to come make this tackle. Third down and nine. Demarcus Ware, I need you to do something here as, never mind, he's just throwing these quick passes and running. All right, so we held my opponent to three points, and now we got to see what we can do out here on offense, man. We definitely need to be able to go down the field here and score we do have jerry rice just absolutely wide open and he fumbles come on man i mean what can i do about that what can i do about that absolutely nothing as how did eric berry not end up making a play on that so he's already back down to the 37 i need d wear to show up man definitely need some d wear as good throw once again but now my opponent is down to the 16 yard line as he's gonna get wide open right there second and inches coming up now let's see if he decides to run it i feel like he will and yep there's the run good tackle okay third down and one d wear come on man I need some pass rush. Never mind, because this guy just will not give me an opportunity. Down to the one. And knowing this guy, I'm run committing. He's going to run again. He loves to run the football. He is going to run again. And yep, there we go. Second down and goal. This is probably going to be an RPO. And instead, it is not an RPO. I'm all over that. Going to send the spy at him. Micah with the hit. Grab the ball. Third down and goal. Is he going to try to run it again? I think, I think he might try to run it. Nope. Okay, it's a play action. Uh, the drag is covered. Everything's covered. D Ware with some pressure. Can we get a sack fumble or something? And on fourth and goal at the three yard line, guys, he's going for it. Will he try to run the football? I don't think he will try to run here. Uh, but let's see. And yup, there he goes with a run. Can we tackle him? All right, so we tackled him. Now we have the ball at the two yard line as I'm just going to get this ball out real quick to Brian Finneran couple of yards second down in two now let's see who we get open here yep we've got him shannon sharp absolute dot there from vic i really want to try to throw the ball deep here if we can as we're gonna have finneran yep brian finneran wide open into a hit stick yeah definitely don't do that do not go right into a hit stick by the way i'm gonna try to run some plays to the left side here so i can like roll out with vic but uh it's just so difficult for me to really get that down when i'm so used to rolling out to the right and right there the reason i rolled out to the right was because i just noticed he has a qb contain so this happens like every single time i try to do a vic gameplay my opponents run spies and contains and yeah i'm just not really able to scramble too much with vic but i guess i'll just try to run some more read options maybe but a minute and 20 seconds left here i'm trying to get down the field so let's see who we're going to have open. We do have Bo once again in the flats, just one yard. And I think we might have Jalen Hyatt. Nope, we got Shannon. We got Shannon Sharp. That was a nice throw. Great throw right there from Vic to Shannon Sharp. I'm going to run a read option now down at the four yard line. I want to try to get in and yeah, I just, I just can't move quick. Look, man, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. I, I try to scramble with Vic as much as I can whenever I do a Vic gameplay and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Second and goal though, we're down to the seven and i'm gonna try to take off with michael vick let's go get into the end zone for the td oh we got the fumble and he recovered i'm really having like no luck in this gameplay right now it, it is absolutely crazy the stuff my opponent is getting away with as d ware gets some pressure on him and he still is able to complete that you guys are seeing it though d ware most certainly is making plays out here as i feel like this guy He's probably just going to look for three points here, so he's going to try to go underneath as we get some pressure. And if he would have caught that on the ricochet, I would have been so mad. I think what I meant to say there was deflection on that right there. But DeMarcus Ware, you guys are seeing him. Watch him every play that this guy actually passes and sits in the pocket. He is getting off that edge. He's just getting, like, double teamed. Which honestly is great because if he's getting double teamed, that means my opponent is having to block, like, a running back or somebody extra uh, to really help out over there as right here, once again, he got off the block. We just weren't able to hold our coverage. All right, let's see it. We need some better pass rush here. We need some sacks. We need some turnovers. There is a turnover oh my goodness are you guys seeing this i fumbled i forced a fumble on him and i didn't recover he throws up just an absolute beautiful pick for me 
and we don't come down with it. Thank you for the sack. That is just insane right there. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Third and 17, though. Let's see if we can get some pressure here. Is he going to go to the flats? No way. Are you serious right now? He really broke that tackle to make it fourth and one. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. He's probably going to run it here. And nope, he does not run the football. And instead, he throws it to the corner. That's incomplete. If this guy somehow would have managed to, you know, go down the field on that drive, I'd have been so mad. But here, guys, we have one-on-one -on -one to Brian Finneran. I gotta try it. Can't come down with it. Oh, well, we had one-on-one, -on -one, Brian Finneran. And I know you guys want to see me throw to Finneran here, right? I got him for this gameplay as Shannon Sharp absolutely wide open right here we'll take that all right second down in 10 we might go to Finnerin. we might get sacked dang it jalen hyatt was open too we just need more time in the pocket third down and 17 coming up guys and i'm looking to go to brian Finnerin. get the catch let's go that was a great throw there was pressure in vic's face we still got the ball off and we were able to complete that there as once again i'm gonna try to run it to the edge vic come on show off the speed mike vic Nice stiff arm. And I gotta say, guys, I just want to throw this, okay? I want to throw this ball. I'm gonna throw a fade here to Brian Finneran. It's Richard Sherman over there, so it's another tall DB, but I've gotta try it. Incomplete. Listen, if you're not gonna get Brian Finneran to throw high balls to him, why are you even getting the card? Because I'd much rather have Jerry, Jalen Hyatt, uh, even Devin Hester because of the speed anyway. So I gotta try to showcase why you should get the card. Unfortunately, they're not able to come down with it. And here, wow. Vic just gonna get the ball there fast enough. All right, well, I tried to just quick fire it out there, and you guys saw he was just not able to get it there fast enough. Great tackle. Second down and 14 now. You gotta think this guy just wants to throw it somewhere short, right? Like, maybe this is an RPO, and he's about to throw it out to the right. And nope, nothing is open. That is the easiest pick six of all time. Oh, oh, you gotta be, oh, we got it, let's go. So we forced a fumble right there on the kickoff and thankfully we actually recovered. It is a miracle as, yeah, I'm trying to run these read options, it's not working. Look man, I'm trying, it's not like I'm not trying to run a Michael Vick, but it's just not working out guys. It is what it is here as we, I thought we're gonna have somebody open there. We get some good blocks. Look at Vick able to scramble. I was actually about to throw it. We had so many people open. We just had so many people open right there as here we have Shannon Sharp. Sharp, get the first down. All right, and once again, man, I've got to throw to Brian Finneran. I know you guys want to see me throw to Brian Finneran here and let's see if he's able to come down with it for the touchdown. All right, so there we go. Brian Finneran finally able to show off what he can do right there with a nice TD. As here we got D-Ware screaming at the quarterback. You guys are seeing it, man. This is DeMarcus Ware. He is wreaking havoc out here. Second and 10 coming up, though. Let's see if we can get another, you know, hit on the QB, try to get a sack, whatever. As D-Ware's double teamed, that should have been a pick. Honestly, I kind of feel like it's worth it to run that on D-Ware now. Seeing how much pressure he's able to get, how many times he's getting off the blockers, whatever, it makes your opponent kind of change up their offense a little bit. Or, you know, at least have to double team d -Ware pretty much every single play and that's gonna take somebody out of the equation as he's going deep here that's a drop third down and eight coming up now he's gonna have the running back open if he wants him or going over the middle okay all right down to the 13 yard line now and i'm gonna look out for devin hester that over the middle is mine with cam chancellor easy user pick all right and i actually do have another qb run play here i'm just gonna try it we're gonna try to run a qb draw you guys can see his users kind of all over that though in the middle so i try to cut it to the edge i'm trying guys i promise i really am second and 16 but you guys can still see even if i'm not able you know to really do anything too crazy with him as great catch even though i haven't really been able to do anything too crazy with the running you guys can see he is most certainly uh, able to escape here as we have Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp wide open. Great throw, great catch. Okay, and down to the 45 now. We have the flats wide open to Bo Jackson. Easy. And he's likely going to be all over this one too, but you know what? Whatever. Another QB draw. Let's give it a try. And Aaron Donald unblocked. They actually have negative rushing yards right now with Michael Vick, which I know is just absolutely crazy as not able to get the ball off. Fourth down and 18 coming up now. I think we have a first. D-Hop, get the first. Let's go. First down right there with DeAndre Hopkins. Once again, I'm going to try to roll 
pull out of the pocket here if we can and there we go we can take off i'm taking off mike vick show off that speed let's go if nothing less at least you always show the threat to your opponent of being able to take off and then you know they have to qb spy or qb contain try to keep you in the pocket that's a td in terms of how do i feel about michael vick well as you guys know you know as i said earlier uh, i'm not a big fan of left-handed qbs as this dude is scrambling around with rg3 but simply put i'm not a big fan of the left-handed qbs because I kind of feel like you need to, you know, switch around which way you run your offense and it just doesn't really work out too well for me, but he is so electric. That release is pretty good as well with that slinger one. You guys can see it, you know, being pretty quick to throw underneath. Although on the goal line, I'm a little bit disappointed that he wasn't able to complete that one pass that I tried that was incomplete on, I think, fourth down. He has a ton of zip on the ball. He's got great throw power. He hasn't missed a throw yet, which is awesome to see. Uh, and yeah, if you will, if you like Vic, you like left-handed QBs, he's probably the best quarterback in the game for you. Me personally, I'm still probably going to stick with Warren Moon just because I need that right-handed QB. Like when Lamar comes out, when Lamar comes out, I will definitely pick up a new Lamar. That should have been another pick. Third down and 10 though. Let's see if DeMarcus can get another hit on the QB as here he is. I, I mean, you guys can see him all game long. Dude, he is great. As you guys can see, Mike Vick, 19 of 29, almost 300 yards, two TDs, uh, nine carries for 17 yards and a touchdown, one broken tackle. Simply put, read options. He was setting it, I'm pretty sure, to read the quarterback, whatever, and yeah, we just couldn't really do much about that, but he is super, super fast. You guys saw me get out of the pocket a couple of times, scrambling around. He is very, very good. Uh, Receiving-wise, Brian Finneran, five catches, 62 yards, a touchdown. I'll be honest, man, I think I would still rather take a lot of the other receivers in the game right now just simply because he's 6'5", but there are faster receivers, better after the catch. That's just kind of how I feel Madden 24 is. But I gotta say, D. Ware was probably my favorite player this entire gameplay, guys. He had two tackles and half a sack. I don't care what the official stats were. You saw him. You saw him. The pressure he was getting was absolutely crazy. If they actually showed, like, pressures on here, he would have, like, seven it was absolutely insane but with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know down below what you guys think about these three cards and check out underdog fantasy use code zerk don't miss out on that saquon barkley special and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these